They may be small insects, but they're causing big problems. They don't discriminate between rich and poor, and they're happy in your home or even travelling in your luggage. Decades after almost being exterminated, bed bugs are back. The city's Department of Housing Preservation and Development reveal an epidemic. Staten Island has the fewest complaints, while Brooklyn is the bed bug champ, with 5,000 calls over the last fiscal year. I think bed bugs are a horrible thing, but uh, if you can just, I just think they're a bad thing, you know. Well, I, I don't really like bed bugs because when they spread, they spread, and they, they, it's more than one. If you see one, just know that it's more than one. It's disgusting. Yeah, it's it's really gross, and <laughs> something should be done about it. They're disgusting. Unfortunately, my school is actually on the list. Um, it took us all like a shock. They handed out memos, the principal sincerely apologizing. The locker rooms, the dark areas of the school. I have to be cautious about where I go, where I put my bag down. Yeah, I really have. I have. Um, back when I lived, um, around and around this area, the exterminator came to our house one time and he actually showed us the host of bed bugs. The host is the host of bed bugs? Yeah. It was huge. Oh uh, yeah, I had to throw out all my furniture, couches, beds. I had to rewash my clothes on hot water. We did and we, we had them when we lived in Manhattan and I think it was, we had a party, we had a bunch of people over, we had friends who didn't really tell us that they were having the experience and they brought them into our home. And this but, is back when we were dating and so she had bed bugs at her place and then they got over to my place in Brooklyn yeah, and then that was, that was terrible because... Because I thought I needed to stay there to keep, you know, so I wouldn't be sleeping with bed bugs and then, that, right, then, and I, then I, I brought them yeah. there. If you think that you've been in places that carry bed bugs then you need to definitely be proactive and shake out your things and be really careful. Remember your mother tucking you in bed and saying, don't let the bed bugs bite before she turned off your nightlight? You probably thought she was kidding. Well, she wasn't kidding. It's just before dawn. You're in the deepest sleep you'll be in all night and the bed bugs are ready to strike. Well, bed bugs are Parasites, they're in the parasitic family and they're uh, of the Simicidae family actually, which um, means that they uh, feed on blood, warm blooded, um, from warm blooded, and particularly human blood. So, as I was saying, when they do bite you, they do have the two tubes that they uh, bite you with. And the one tube um, they use to insert saliva, which has anticoagulants as well as um, anesthetics, so that It'll actually, in a sense, numb the area so that when they do actually bite to draw the blood, the person doesn't really feel it. That's why That's they, why they won't wake you it. up. They won't wake you up. You won't know you've been bitten until the next day. So, well, so they're sneaky. And they go back and they nest. How do they know what's the best place to nest at? A dark, secluded area. That's why... You know, they're known as bed bugs because they'll hide in, any, hide in any of the crevices and mattresses, um, in the folds in your sheets, um, wherever they can feel safe and secure, you know, snug in your bed, that, that's where they go. Although they will, they can just go even on the floor, in the corners of your, your molding, you know, they can do that as well. But a lot of times they'll hide in any of the folds or crevices in your mattresses and that's why they're called bed bugs. The effects, you know, I mentioned the bites and the if you're allergic and all that. But really the worst thing is the psychological effects. Hi, my name is Serena Robinson and I am a tenant in this area living with my mom several years ago. So yeah, I'm a traumatized bed bug person. No, I'm, I might be tr uh, uh, chronic in, in one aspect, but not in that aspect. But, however, when my daughter comes over, I do, I do kind of like check, you know, ask her to check her bag. Or I might, you know, because um, her school has bed bugs or, or, or have had 
a report of bed bugs and so um, yeah for her when she comes over to stay over I generally ask her to, to does she find that annoying sometimes that you constantly bug her about taking her bath no because in reality I do it you know I don't even wait for her to do it I just do it myself to be honest <laughs> I do So this is my old room and I guess I'll show you uh, what I did when I was here eight years ago to check for bed bugs. The first thing I would do once I was aware that we had a bed bug problem, you know, and again, it does kind of affect you emo mentally. Um, and so I became very uh, traumatized and so I would do weird things that I thought uh, was a, a, pro a protectorant for me. And one of the things that I, I used was I used tape and uh, bed bug spray. <laughs> what I did was I took the tape, and this is when I was really paranoid, and I would take the double-sided tape and I would line my mattress from here all around you know, and even I would line it up, you know, this way. And, and of course, my children thought I was absolutely out of my mind. But that's how traumatized I was. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much what I did. So my double-sided tape, my bed bug spray, and just securing the bed post, I think, is what, you know, in my mind, soothed me. Well, thank you so much. This has been a wonderful interview. <laughs> and we thank your efforts. I'm trying to keep the bed bugs away. I know, because uh, those little critters, they uh, do a job on the brain when you do, when you are exposed to them. And it never goes away. <laughs> what up? All right, what up, what up? It's your boy Tweezy, you know what I mean? One third of Shutdown City, you know, coming from out of Brooklyn or whatnot. It's your boy, bro. Two thirds of the city. We here talking about bed bugs, man. I think they annoying, they pest. What do I think about bed bugs? Uh, like, disgusting, nasty, um, hideous creatures. And when bed bugs bite, you probably have like, like four yeah, different bites going in the line. Bites. Yeah, like, like in the line. And they itch and they cuss and they just, it's like, just, if you ever got a mosquito bite, just picture a mosquito bite, but 10 times worse. Now when the good old holidays roll around, I'm the kind of a guy that likes to be found just taking it easy and laying around, doing nothing. But I take my chair and I sit on the lawn And just when all my cares are gone About a million bugs start carrying on And I'm cussing Some caterpillar from up some tree Decides as far as he can see There's nothing to do but to fall on me, the damn worm And a dirty old fly just making it clear That he ain't had a bath for over a year So he's taking one now and my glass of beer To lose germs Bugs, bugs bugs if i had them all in jugs i dig 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 till a big big hole was dug 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 and that would be the end of the bug song that would be the end of the bug song you do, especially at the good stores bird off and macy's be careful what you buy shake it out at the counter and that would be the end of the bug song